Now, um, a couple of weeks ago, I went and reviewed a bit of a project for Zephyr. Well, I did end up um, negotiating a deal with the chap because uh, a few reasons. One, uh, I was interested in saving the car um, for the same reasons that he wanted to sell the car to me. Um, basically, it's it's that sort of car in the condition it's in where it's fairly solid but it is still a substantial project where in this country a lot of people um, bang a race but they take a perfectly good classic car in most instances I mean some are really rusty but this car is, is, is you know completely not that far and we didn't want it to be smashed around the track so I've bought it and um, got to bring it back to base clean it up um organize all the parts maybe you know uh, put it together somewhat and then we'll get it up for sale to to an owner who's gonna fully restore it i did have intentions of working on the car but it's just not gonna happen with um my my lifestyle right now going back to uni all these other projects going on so uh, i'd rather take it and and find an owner uh, that's not going to bang a race it or smash it up or break it for parts or do anything like that. This car's got a lot of sentimental value to the owner. Um, and, you know, Ford Zephyrs, especially the Mark 3s, have a lot of sentimental value to me because my first car was a Ford Zephyr. So I'm just waiting for my brother to pull up. And I'm scared he's going to pull up and then the same cab's dark because um, it's horrendous and I've got to be in that for, for several hours if he is pulling up in that. So hopefully he doesn't, but we'll, we'll see. He's putting up. I can hear him. Oh no. Oh, look at the state of it. Oh, I'm too tired for this. Oh, I'm too tired for this. Well, see you on the other side. Oh, nice. Here we go then. Listen, pick up an old shitbox effort. Underway. Oh, I've got to shut the gates. I mean, I've got to get out anyway. That was stupid, wasn't it? But anyway. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bouncy. It's on a country road. England is built on country roads, Ed. Country roads. By country roads. I'm not happy about it. Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm on a, on a trampoline on wheels. That's how I feel in this cab start. Oi. Oi. <laughs> uh, we've got this for the next hour and a bit. Yeah, that works. Cool. Okay, so. Sweet. So I'm, I'm here with Alan today and we're stood in front of his 1962 Ford Zephyr. It's a Mark III and it's a Zephyr 6 and it used to belong to your mother. My mum, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Um, she's had it for well over 30 years. Um, it was her pride and joy. Um, we eventually got it on the road for our wedding. We had a 50s do wedding. Yeah. So which yeah. is all Teddy boys with my Vauxhall PA Cresta. And this was one of the wedding cars. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. I'd say obviously... Um, this is the original colour? Original colour, yes, yeah, so yeah. an emerald blue, I think, if emerald you call blue. it. Mm -hmm. um, and slightly bits of brown in it. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> but there you go. It's, been, it's, definitely, it's definitely weathered now. Yeah, it's definitely. definitely weathered now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what sort of, what sort of year did, you, did she buy it, do you reckon? Um, you she brought back? it back in about 1980, possibly 7, possibly 86. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, we got married in 1990, so... Um, yeah, it's about 86. Yeah, to put that into perspective, I was only born in 98, so it, <laughs> this, is, this is going back a few years now, so it's been a bit of a, just a timepiece. Has it been basically sat here the whole whole time? Um, yeah, it's been on the road for quite a bit. Um, last saw use back in 91, I think was the last time on the road. Um, apart from that, um, yes, it's been in the family this long. Yeah. So. Yeah. And um, you know, what, what, uh, what, what's been the... The factor of you know tech, you know um, to, to to finally get it going and then thinking to yourself oh do you know what maybe it's maybe it's beyond us now you know um, it's it's sad to see a car like this sitting and, yeah. and not yeah. being used yeah. and with people like yourself um, that can come along and keep these type of cars on the road for for yourself or the future 
then that's what it's all about. It's sad that it's been sitting for so long. That's yeah, it. that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, obviously, it's, uh, it's 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 definitely a hard hard decision to make, isn't it? Yes, you know? it is. It's 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 been heart wrenching. Um, your brother Adrian, who's uh, helped out a lot. Um, lots of emotions with the car um, because of me mum Ren. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's got it's got to move on. Yeah. And hopefully, comes. someone does it justice. Comes to it. Yeah. yeah. It, it comes it comes to a point. Yeah, well maybe I be I could do it justice. We'll <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, there's um, it's good. I mean, it, a body it, it's good in places and, and, and bad enough. It's 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 classic. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's a project car. There's always you're always going to get that, aren't you? So, um, but it, it's complete, which is nice. Yeah, it's complete, and you know you've started the works, and most of the interior is 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 uh, done on it. Um, so it, it, it's a great project for somebody just to kind of strip back and um, start again and yeah, you've got yeah. a really good have some fun with it That's really what, good foundation yeah. to do it which is nice yes, good you know and then you, you didn't have to put it back to the original color then and say if you're, you're already stripping it down and and, and welding etc you've got a it's a clean sheet it's a nice yeah. it's a okay. nice uh, clean canvas to do it so yeah yeah it would be nice to see it back on the road again and hopefully um, yourself or whoever um, keeps up with it and it would be nice to see the progress and when she's finished yeah well my mission is to stop the banger boys from getting it yes 100 percent. Yeah, yeah because um that you know they 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 can eat away at perfectly good cars and yeah. and you know to give given their dues some of them are too far gone and, and one classic car could save four others yes yeah but what's very annoying is when they take a perfectly good car like this yes yeah. and and they would bag a race so yeah that's that's my mission is saving classic cars yeah, not, yeah. That's good. We've all heard of chasing classic cars, but the, <laughs> what I do is less pretentious. <laughs> so, Alan, um, in terms of your, you said it was your mother's car. In terms of her coming to the decision to buy it, it was the eighties, and then you know these cars were maybe quite old at the time. So, what was the yeah. what was the factor that really made her want to buy? It's, it's uh, the, it's the factor of obviously um, when she was younger, I think, and uh, she's owned classic cars. Um, before but the, the Zephyr um, it was very Americanified and we had an uncle who lived in America we had contacts over there so to get that American feel and with, yeah, the, yeah. with the styling of the Zephyr 6 with the with the wings um, yeah just took her eye yeah yeah I mean that that is um, a, a definitive feature of, of a Zephyr 6 isn't it is these lovely fins at the back oh definitely 100% you know it's, it's very American but it's not too too brash you were no. saying about you know the English back they were very conservative so to have you know huge fins of, of, of a 59 Cadillac and pink paintwork yeah. just wasn't the one have a bit of bling for the English wasn't wasn't the thing at the time so yeah they, so Ford um, held back with with the chrome over the top of the fins like the mark II console um, sold because it was just right um, but uh, in, yeah, my, in my yeah. opinion, more bling, more chrome, the better. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You know, in the, in the 50s and 60s, Definitely. when two-tone paintwork, you know, rolled rolled onto the scene with the Vauxhall Cresta, it yeah. was it was you know very very controversial at the yes, time. It, it, it nothing was. nothing like that had ever been. You know, people were used to you know gracious styling of a Mark II yeah. Jaguar, yeah. and and then in came Zephyrs and um, yeah, well, the rhythm was black Crestas. and grey, wasn't it? Exactly. And all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. yeah. My two-tone pink car. That's chrome it. everywhere. Go from your, your black humbo in your in your in your country in your country suit and then you roll up in a in a two tone bling mobile. Definitely, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it would have you know, can you imagine of what, what would have been like back oh, then? It it would have been nice. But I think Ford themselves got this just right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very, very popular for the of the day. Exactly. And and the lines of the car, you know, the, the way this swage line um ro runs along the car and slowly gets thicker and thicker. And then you know um, rolls into this bonnet here. Yeah, you know, it, it was it was styling wise, it was subtle, but it was it was really really nice. Yeah, it was which, done which really is well. You don't get today. No, exactly, so, yeah. exactly. And 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 a nice thing about these cars is they all looked different. You yes. know, a Zephyr yep. looked like a Zephyr, Cresta looked like a Cresta, Cortina yep. looked like a, you know. Yep. Um, and uh, you know that that's why you know picking a classic car it's it's such a fun experience and it's such a intimate experience because you know yeah, they, they they speak to you in different ways definitely they really do like this car obviously uh, spoke to your to your mother yeah. in, in the well, same like way I say, mum had three of these and this this was the last one that she had yeah uh, she had a couple of fours and obviously this is the six yeah and, yeah uh, yeah just lovely cars to drive a um, little bit of a boat around the corner 
but you know, <laughs> yeah. you, you deal to, with that. That's to be expected. Yeah. But yeah. the interesting fact about this is even though it's a, a big hunk of metal and it's got a big iron, you know, cast iron block engine, they still still weigh less than a new Ford Fiesta. I didn't know that. Did it really? Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. I didn't know that. Where's, where's the VIN plate? Uh, you have a VIN plate here. And, no, I mean, and the VIN plate there. Know. I put it on the dash for you. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, they still wait because uh, obviously, you know, they ain't got all the electronics and the air conditioning yeah. and the hundreds of airbags and the speakers and everything like that. You know, yeah, yeah, it's about 1,400 kilos. These yeah, weigh less. Yeah. These weigh about 1,278, something like that. And um, I mean, that's just you know, that's crazy to think about. Really, it is, you yeah, think it's a huge, for the size of yeah, it as well. it's, I mean, yeah. it's a huge hunk of metal. Uh, and you know, they say cars nowadays have got bigger, but you know, you, you go back to these and you think actually that they haven't really got bigger, they just got rounder, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, definitely makes them seem like um, this is still yeah. quite a large car considering. Oh, it definitely is, yeah, yeah. It's um, you know, you can get, get three or four people in the front quite comfortably. So basically, that's going to conclude us for today. Um, we're going to have a little chat off camera um, about uh, you know what what the plans are for etc. And if I'm if I'm going to take it on, um, but Alan, thank you very much no, for, for showing me the car. Well, thanks for coming and, down um, and looking at it and and sharing your story with me. Um, so I'm quite quite interested in it. I'm sure yeah. everyone else is going to be interested in it yeah. and and see what what we can do with it if we if we take it on. So I think. Um, yeah, I think that's us. <laughs> so thank you for uh, tuning into this episode of uh, Classic Car Magazine. And I'm going to bring in, be bringing you lots of content. Um, we have uh, drift cars coming onto the channel. And we have some restoration. And we could be having this <laughs> as our restoration as well. Mm. And uh, it would be nice to know what, what you guys think. So if you leave us um, comments in the comment section below. And my details for my Patreon account and my Instagram account. If you'd like to subscribe to the channels as well. So you can keep following what we do. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>